Cinco de Mayo, or the 5th of May, is a holiday that celebrates the date of the Mexican Army's May 5, 1862 victory over France at the Battle of Puebla during the Franco-Mexican War. The day, which falls on Tuesday, May 5, in 2020, is also known as the Battle of Puebla Day. While it's a relatively minor holiday in Mexico, in the United States, Cinco de Mayo has evolved into a commemoration of Mexican culture and heritage, particularly in areas with large Mexican-American populations. To celebrate Cinco de Mayo today, we're going to draw some sombreros. A sombrero is often a high-crowned hat of felt or straw with a very wide brim worn especially in the Southwest and Mexico. Supplies you're going to need for today's sombrero art are blank paper in a horizontal fashion or landscape fashion. You could use a pencil, but I'm going to skip straight to the Sharpie and then some sort of coloring utensils, colored pencils, crayons. I'm going to use markers today. So to start with, you're going to have your paper in a horizontal fashion. Our first little bit, we're going to make the brim of the hat, and they have these big wide brims. So I'm going to go about three fingers from the bottom of the paper, and I'm just going to put a little dot, and I'm going to go all the way to the other side. I'm going to do the same thing, about three fingers from the bottom and a little dot. And now I'm going to go straw a couple times just to practice before I use my Sharpie. And I'm going to do a shallow smiley line from one to the next. So a couple practice tries. And then I'm going to do a nice shallow smiley from one side to the next. Now I want to make the brim of the hat where it rolls up. So I'm going to make a straight line up uh, about a finger's width. Straight line up. And then I'm going to ghost draw again. I'm going to do a line parallel to that bottom smiley. And this is going to make kind of that rolled up brim look of our hat. And if it's not quite right or if it's a little wonky, don't worry because oftentimes sombreros might get a little squashed. They're just um, straw hats, so they get a little squishy squashy sometimes. That's a technical term, squishy squashy. Anyway, now I have the brim of my hat done. Now I'm going to do a big mountain for the cap of my hat. So I'm going to start at one side, practice a few times with my finger, and do a nice big brim like so. And then I have to do the back side, and I want it to make look like it is three-dimensional. So I'm going to make it a little bit curved, and I'm going to go right up to the cap, and then I'm going to skip over and do the same thing over to the other side. Now I have a basic sombrero. Now for some designs for our Mexican hat. Uh, some folk art traditional Mexican designs might have zigzags, um, dots. Sometimes you'll see on costume type sombreros some pom-poms. So we can add some of those details. I'm going to speed it up and I'll meet you back here in a minute. Traditional Mexican folk art colors are the red, green, and white, but you can add any colors that you want. I'm going to color this in and I'll come back to you in just a second. Now, if I were to put on my future glasses, your artwork might look something like this. I hope you have some fun and I can't wait to see your Cinco de Mayo sombreros.